With academic issues corrected, Notre Dame announced Wednesday that basketball star Jaron Grant and football standout DeVaris Daniels are both welcome to return starting with summer school next month. These two guys, you see the numbers side by side, certainly difference makers for their respective teams. Ray Crawford here with Doug Chapman and Jordan Cornette. JC, with Grant's return, how much better does this make the Irish team next season? Infinitely better. I mean, the Irish were losing a scoring punch, most notably down low in Garrick Sherman, but they also lost their floor general in Eric Atkins. Well, what they so sorely missed last season was a go-to guy who could give them a basket when they absolutely needed one. And everybody knows what Jaron Grant's capable of. Think about that wild game against Louisville a couple seasons ago where this guy absolutely took over. That's what this guy brings the Irish, and they need this because they so sorely missed it last season, and that's why they struggled. When the times got tough, they didn't have that go-to player. Jaron Grant's one of the best scorers in the ACC. He was on pace to be the leading scorer in the ACC before he got dismissed from school, so expect that same performer coming back. A big boost for the Irish. Doug, how much better than the passing game will be for Notre Dame with Daniels back in the field in the fall? It's going to be much better. He's a second-leading receiver last year, had a litany of lower body in injuries, foot, ankle, hamstring, hip flexor. And he said that led to his problems academically. But if you watch him on the football field, he was a physical field stretcher, got nicked up towards the end of the year. But when he's healthy, if he didn't miss games, he would have been a thousand yard receiver. Now, whoever's at quarterback, whether it be Golson or Malik Zaire, this is going to be their number one target. He'll be a number one for Notre Dame, and he's going to be a big, big factor in the success of their offense. JC, a Notre Dame alum, also a football as well as a basketball fan. Who makes the bigger addition here, do you think? Well, I got to say, this, this kind of topic, this segment really excites me to talk about all things <laughs> Notre Dame, I must admit. I have to say it has to be Jaron Grant because without Jaron Grant for Notre Dame basketball, this team would not win many games in the ACC at all given what they've lost already. They've got some youth coming in, some younger guys who are going to be playing bigger roles, and you need a steady performer on the floor, and that's what Jaron Grant gives you. Now, I'm curious what Doug thinks because I know Daniels gives a lot, but I'd have to say it has to be Jaron Grant. I can say it helps his quarterback out because if let's just say Malik Zaire is your starting quarterback. You got a young guy, a freshman, who's throwing the football to a veteran guy. He missed this semester, but he played all last fall. He's been out in the spring. They don't get the rapport there, but I'd rather have a quarterback throwing to a guy who knows what he's doing than have two young guys. So I think it's a push. Both of these guys are, are big that they retur are returning for their respective teams, but me being a football guy, you know i got to go to the gridiron. <laughs> right. Come on. But I think the, <laughs> rea on now. the reality of the fact that we're talking about this kind of thing just goes to show, I mean, look, this isn't Bowling Green. Right. This isn't Marshall. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's so much that's asked of you academically at a pace like Notre Dame. Of course these guys struggle to meet it. I, however, was an all-academic performer. But, again, it's not Bowling Green, and it's not Marshall. It's Notre Dame. This, Just this segment's over. Just That's it. it. It's gone all Irish here. All right, guys, thanks very much. How about the Alabama football dynasty? Is it the best ever? What about the future there in Tuscaloosa? Our Bama Insider and Pete Futak debate on CampusInsiders.com.